We're at Ford Field in Detroit, home of the Mid-American Conference Championship game for the season premiere of UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold. The Bulls are planning to be back here in November, especially linebacker Khalil Hodge. In this week's episode, we'll introduce you to the man in the middle of the Buffalo D. We'll tell you what makes him so good and why he's so focused on making this his best year yet. It's UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold, and we kick it off right now. Khalil Hodge grabs him and throws him backwards. You can't stop Anthony Johnson. Second down to the 11, Tyree to throw again. Quarterback draw up the middle to the 10, to the 5, touchdown! Off Singletary trapped in the backfield. Khalil Hodge grabs him and throws him backwards. Childers in the pocket. Rush, hit, him. sacked. Khalil Hodge with the sack for the Bulls, his second of the year. Throws to the end zone, it's knocked away, and it's intercepted. Got it, Intercepted! Yes. Well, hi, everybody. I'm Paul Peck, and welcome to Detroit. And what a way to get the season started for Bulls linebacker Khalil Hodge, named to two national watch lists, the Butkus Award for the best linebacker in the country, the Bednarik Award for the best defensive player in the country. Not unexpected when Khalil's 277 tackles are more than any other player over the last two years. He is the leader of the Buffalo defense. What makes him so good? What makes him so special? Let's find out. Crum is going to throw. He's rushed, hit, and sacked. Khalil Hodge, what a play inside. Khalil Hodge again. One of the best in college football. The one thing that Khalil really excels at is just the drive that he has. He has goals in mind, and he will do anything to obtain those goals. Hand off to Smith again. This time he stood up. There's Khalil Hodge. His football IQ is off the chart. He's had almost 300 tackles in two years. No one in the country has more tackles than Khalil Hodge. The biggest thing with it when a guy like Khalil Hodge has that type of season, it's about consistency. One is his play on the field, but the consistency that he's out there all the time for you, each and every snap. Very productive player coming out of high school. Had some ridiculous, I can't even tell you the exact number, but it was 200 plus tackles, uh, I believe, in, in his senior season. He's been having crazy tackle numbers ever since he started playing. But his senior year, they never lost a home game. Uh, they had a real good run, you know, and uh, I think I think that he kind of impacted that school, how he's impacting us, you know, just a high intensity guy and just always working hard and bringing people along. Players go to junior colleges for different reasons, um, you know, and, and, and sometimes those are academically related, but for Khalil it was not. Khalil was a good student in high school, had good grades, um, um, was a, a full qualifier, so he could have gone to a four-year school right out of high school and did have some offers in the, in the, in the FCS level of, of college football. But in his mind thought, you know what, I think I can play higher. Out of high school, Khalil went to uh, City College of San Francisco, one of the really top junior colleges for, for many, many years right there close to home, um, where he really played outside linebacker. So he went there and, and literally played one season. He was there for one semester of, of junior college football. Chris Simpson uh, was the lead, uh, his position coach was the lead recruiting coach in there. Three years ago, we needed a, we thought we needed a Mike linebacker. Um, so, you know, in the process of recruiting, decided to, to explore the junior college route. I still remember him walking into the office that first time with a big smile on his face. and. Um, uh, kind of got to know him a little bit, continued to evaluate him in terms of watching tape. He won a national championship as a freshman at uh, City College. He told me that if he, if he could have done another year at JUCO, that he would have had a chance to probably get higher offers and play at a bigger conference. But he wanted to come here and, and, and do something special. Ever since he's been here, he's been working hard and, and making an impact immediately. And Bradshaw's going to throw. He's going to get hit, and he gets sacked. Khalil Hodge with his first career sack as a Buffalo Bull. Bull Jack! Defense! Ray! Ray! Hey, keep talking, bro. Keep talking. That's it. Yeah. So yeah. Communicate, bro. If you know what you're doing, make sure the man next to you. If you come to our game, you're definitely going to hear Khalil. You know, he's a loud guy, and that's in the weight room, that's in the locker room. 
Hutch always like challenging people, like even when, like we catch balls, like he like coming around, like trying to push you and stuff, like trying to get in your head. Talking about defense run this, defense run that, like y'all ain't getting nothing. Like he's like the hype man of the defense. From his first spring here, um, that he was able to embrace what our expectations are about practice habits, finishing plays, hustling on and off, all those things that we feel when they become habits help help elevate one's game and he's taken that and he, he's even put a higher level on himself. Everybody on defense really looks up to Hodge, you know, he's a hard worker on and off the field, like I see it. You'll see him running the hill right after we get done with conditioning, he'll walk over and to alumni and do some extra work at night. You know, stuff people really don't see, so I think that's going to benefit them this year and, and benefit our team a lot. Shotgun snap, shoulders in the pocket, rush, hit, sacked. Khalil Hodge with the sack for the Bulls, his second of the year. He's a vocal leader, but he's definitely, he leads by example, you know, Khalil's one of the hardest workers on this team, and everyone knows that. When he talks, it kind of goes quiet and everyone listens. Khalil's definitely a, a coach on the field. Uh, I, I'm up in the press box during games, so he, you know he's a guy I can get him on the headset. We can have a conversation. Uh, he can he can vision things in his mind um, without necessarily having to get stuff drawn up on the board, and and can relay that message to the guys. If we go three and out or something, something doesn't happen well. You know he's right there. All right, I got you. I got you guys. You know I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it down. You know and he usually does. You know he's one of the best players in our conference. So it's going to be fourth and 12 from the 13 with 144 to go in the game. With us up, with us ahead in the game, and, and we got to find a way to get a stop. It, or they're in the red zone, and Khalil takes a drop. He is pressured. He chases and gets away and throws to the end zone. It's knocked away, and it's intercepted. They intercepted. Get it. intercepted by the Bulls. It was a really big play for us at that time. A lot of guys might have. Might have filled him, grabbed it, and kind of let go a little bit, and then it would have been a touchdown, but you know, Khalil yanked it from him and sealed the game for us. You see a guy flying around like that, making plays. You know at offense, you got a, a good defense, and you got players like him that'll get you the ball back. Huge play there by Khalil Hodge, who had dropped back into zone coverage. Khalil's a big Raiders fan. He's always watching the Raiders games, always talking about all the Raiders players. Seeing that Khalil Mack went, you know, high in the draft, first first 10 picks. So I think that seeing that as a linebacker and, and, and having that aspiration to play in the NFL kind of motivated Khalil because, you know, if you see someone in your position do it, you know that it's possible for you. They are similar in terms of they're very instinctive. From what I have seen of, of Khalil Mack, a very instinctive player, freakish athletically. Khalil is also a very good athlete, but really what I think sets those two guys apart is just their instinctiveness and their ability to to get to the football. I think that he has a great chance to play the next level. I mean, his numbers speak for themselves. You know, he has great film. It'd be hard for people to pass on him. Rush, ball comes out. It's a Buffalo sack. Haju came in on the blitz untouched. No one even looked at him. The thing that I didn't know until this season that, that he finished second in the NCAA in, in, in tackles. And, you know, for, for a player uh, at the FBS level to, to do that uh, in the Mid-American Conference says a lot. To have the most tackles of returning players in the last two years of all in, in FBS football just shows, the, again, the consistent level that Khalil Hodges played at since he stepped on this campus. For him going into this year, this is it for him. Um, you know, we talk frequently about about that first meeting in, in uh, Coach Collins' office uh, and, and how all of a sudden here we are. And it's senior year for him, and uh, he's done a lot of great things going from a, a second-team all-conference, first-team all-conference, and, and now going into his senior year. He's put himself in a situation that he's been able to accomplish all the goals that he set out to do. And now it's time to get the rest of the team through his leadership to be able to follow through with that as well. Coming up, we spend a day in the life with senior linebacker Khalil Hodge. UB Football Insider returns right after this. Welcome back to UB Football Insider. This segment is presented by Seth Q, changing lives every day. 
Welcome back to UB Football Insider. I'm Paul Peck at Ford Field in Detroit. What is it about UB linebackers named Khalil? Khalil Hodge, named to the Butkus Award watch list, becomes the first Bull linebacker since Khalil Mack to grab that preseason honor. Last year, Hodge led the Mid-American Conference in tackles. And much like Mack, he came from a long way to find a home in Buffalo. Let's find out what makes him tick and spend a day in the life of number four. Well, good morning, uh, it's Khalil Hodge. I play linebacker here at UB, and today I'm doing a day in the life, so come on. This is all me right here. Uh, in yeah, South Lake, I like it a lot, actually. Uh, it's a two-bedroom apartment. Uh, my roommate's Paul Nosworthy. A little memorabilia from everything, from uh, junior college, uh, San Francisco City, St. Mary's. It's my high school I went to, I graduated from. Growing up, Pop Warner, Jersey. And then this is De La Salle, my freshman year I went to. This is the key right here. Gotta take this wherever I go. Pick the shuttle right now, jump on that. It'll drop me off like, Five minutes from class. We should be suspicious of this kind of cause-related marketing. And again, this is any kind of marketing campaign that's intended to raise awareness, raise money for a particular cause. So, you know, how do they critique these campaigns? First, you know, they point out. Class is all done, the hard part's over. We'll get on the shuttle, get back to the crib, get something to eat, maybe take a quick little nap. Man, it's go time. It's the real fun. The real fun. Yeah, it's time to get to it. A3 going on his back today, I promise you that. A3 going on his back. I try to get in the hot tub usually like at least, at least every day. Like, it's really just for recovery. Just set yourself up to have the best possible practice possible. Get your body right, for real. Always. If it's wham and you got eight touch back, then what do you have to do? Or straight. I think wham might be better to straight it. You with me? If it's steel, it's probably better to flop it. Are we still Yeah, it's the blitz. It's the blitz. Yep. You run the blitz. You run the pressure. So if it's whip, it's whip. If it's steel, it's steel. Right? Yeah. Everybody good. Yeah. Okay, let's go to work. Hey, let's go to work. Let's go to work. championship robust, like for real. Uh, that's how we're working, that's how we feel. And uh, when we step on the field next year, you know, we're, we're feeling like we're the big dogs. For like the last probably like two, three months, I've actually been uh, meal prepping. So 
that's kind of a way for me to keep my weight down and, and just try to eat the right things, like salmon and, and spinach, and like maybe I'll make some eggs or something like that just to fill me up, but I'm just trying to get as strong as possible. Yeah, so this is just the computer lab right here. This is actually uh, it's an athlete's only computer lab. So uh, we come in here, we have to come in two times a week for like two hours, I think. And then just basically get work done. Man, this has been a long one, but uh, I appreciate you guys following me around today. Uh, it's Khalil Hodge, UV football linebacker number four. It's a day in the life, man. Um, just appreciate it, I appreciate it all. Coming up, Khalil Hodge breaks down his favorite plays for the 2017 season. And we go behind the wheel with linebackers coach Chris Simpson. That's next on UB Football Insider. Welcome back to UB Football Insider. This segment is presented by Town BMW, the official auto partner of UB Athletics. Welcome back to UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold from Ford Field in Detroit. Last year, Khalil Hodge led the MAC with 154 tackles, but that didn't tell you the whole story. He made so many big plays, including three sacks and two interceptions. None bigger, in my opinion, than the amazing pick that he had to preserve the win against Ohio. But let's see what the senior linebacker thinks as he takes us through almost all of those big plays from last season. It's third down and four, just outside of midfield. Kent State game, uh, we had run a wham straight. It's kind of like an A-gap blitz, and we straighted it, and it kind of just opened up. Crum is going to throw. He's rushed, hit, and sacked. Big time pressure off the weak side, and he had absolutely no chance. Crum got kind of snowed under there right away. It could have been me or Chris Ford's play. I'm a little quicker than Chris, though, so I got to the quarterback first and was able to make the play and get off the field. Wasik in the pocket, fires a deep ball, and it's intercepted. I just been itching for an interception for the longest time I can remember. And a number one receiver kind of kind of ran like a deep drag behind me. And I kind of took a peek at him and just kept getting depth, and I was able to get up. And I guess he didn't he didn't believe in my in my leaping ability, so I, I was able to, to make the play on the ball and come down with. Khalil Hodge dropping in the zone, goes up the ladder and pulls it in for his first career interception. Khalil would be the first to tell you he wouldn't be where he is now without the push he gets from Bulls linebackers coach Chris Simpson. Chris is a hard driver on the field. Let's see if he's also a hard driver on the streets of Western New York. It's time for Coaches in Cars. Today we have a 2018 640 GT here. It's a new model for 18. It's gonna be the six series. It's scooped back, a lot of cargo space. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. So what do you think of the pickup first off? It goes. <laughs> Not too bad, right? It goes. So I see some numbers up here. In yes. The, in the windshield. Heads up display. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna project your speed up above. So it looks like it gives you the your speed, but also the speed limit, maybe? Yes, yep, so it also is gonna show you what the posted speed limit is. And when you start to go over the posted speed limit, it should turn to red. It's probably in red frequently with the BMW. Pretty frequently, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> BMWs handle very well in emergency situations, such that, let's say, right here we slam on the brakes, the car's gonna hold steady straight, it's not gonna go side to side, it's not gonna weave. Not too bad, right? Yeah. Pretty impressive. Smooth comfortable too. Yeah, you're pretty tall, so how do you feel fitting in here? Plenty pretty nice. Plenty of room. If we fold the seats down, it's gonna be 65 cubic feet, which is almost similar to like an SUV. It's the same size as the X3. Yep. So this rides like a car, looks like a car, but you're still getting the utility and the space of, you know, an SUV. Drives like a car, feels like an SUV, sporty. And luxurious, and all at the same time. All at the same time. So I know you're in the market, so what do you think? 6 GT for you? Ha <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Coming up, the Bulls have been receiving plenty of media attention. We go inside their experience at Mac Media Day. UB Football Insider continues in a moment.
This is UB Football Insider, presented by ECMC. The difference between health care and true care. Welcome back to UB Football Insider. Khalil Hodge, wide receiver Anthony Johnson, and of course, Coach Leipold were here at Ford Field in Detroit for Mid-American Conference Media Day earlier this summer. It gave all three men a chance to talk to media from around the conference, pump up the season, and get everybody ready for September 1st's kickoff. It's a fun experience, you know, just to get out here in front of the entire conference and just, you know, taking all these interviews. It's been fun. Me and AJ, we're having a great time. Whoa, 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 there you go, there you go, there you go. Keep driving, keep driving, keep driving, keep driving. I remember going to little camps like that as a kid and just those are those are things that you you never forget as a kid, you know, just to be out there, just to be out there with college football players. Me personally, like growing up, we didn't really have those camps and things, like those opportunities to work out with guys like on the next level. But it was great being out there to help those guys. There you go. There you go, that's it. That's it, that's it. I, I can feel the buzz just going around. You know, I think, you know, Buffalo is definitely starting to, you know, spark some interest from a lot of these teams. It's been a little bit different than maybe the, the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, there's some of those things we need to embrace. And uh, it, it's because the guys have earned it. And, and our staff has worked hard. Um, and then we can enjoy that for a little bit, but here in a short period of time, we got to get to work. They recognize that we bring a lot of firepower this year. You know, guys are uh, back. We got healthy guys, and it's going to be a great season for us. When we were given this opportunity to come to Buffalo and build a program, um, it always hasn't been smooth, and we've had a lot of things happen on and off the field. And and to get to this point is is, is exciting. But you know, we came to build a consistent winner, and uh, and that's what we want to do. And uh, we want to take a further step this year. Yeah, when I was out there, I told him, well, we will be back out there next year, and like we're gonna we're gonna fight our butts off, and we're gonna shock the world this year. The nation's football media has already noticed Khalil Hodge. He was named to Athlon Sports' fourth team All-American list, and that's one heck of an honor for any player from the Mid-American Conference. Next week on UB Football Insider, we'll turn our focus to one of the nation's top wide receivers. That's Bulls senior Anthony Johnson. We'll see you next week from Detroit on UB Football Insider.